The Cap and Skull Society is one of the most exclusive organizations here at Rutgers. This honor society emits one half of 1% of the entire Rutgers population each year. The trophy room dedicated to its current members and alumni is located on the fourth floor of the Rutgers Student Center. Today we learn more about this not so known elite honor society. The Cap and Skull Senior Honor Society actually started in 1900. A group of students got together and they realized that it would be most beneficiary to the university if a group of students of diverse backgrounds, the leaders on campus, got together, talked, and you discussed what they could do to move the university forward continuously. Every year there are 18 juniors, uprising seniors, that are brought into Cap and Skull. Uh, people can apply online at capandskull.ruckers.edu. It's open to everyone. Anyone that is going to be a rising senior can apply. And you get into Cap and Skull by doing what you love. It, you know, that's point blank. Anytime someone asks me, you know, what can I do here? What can I do here? Uh, just do what you love and do it how you would do it and not how anyone else would do it. And there are 21 buildings on Rutgers campus alone that are named after skulls. For example, Paul Robeson, uh, Werblin, Hale Center. There are a lot of famous skulls, but it's, it's not always about the fame, you know, a lot of times the people that have contributed the most to society are, are not always the most well-known. It's really important for them to collaborate and to figure out what they can do from their prospective fields, from their mindsets, uh, to let them get together and, and see what they can do to improve Rutgers. On one hand, this room was created so that Captain Skull could have a physical presence on campus, and on the other hand, it's so that they could give back to the university as they do in other many ways. And so it was created so that student organizations could have more space to meet. Um, it's really important, of course, everyone in Cap and Skull, there's a student leader in some facet or is involved in some student org. And you know, there might not be room for the time that you exactly want, um, but this room helps uh, decrease that problem a little more. This is for the student body. This is for everyone and anyone. It's for the university. Not many students know about this prestigious honor society. The Cap and Skull Room is definitely worth checking out. Until next time, I'm Will Powell's RUTV.